And so what you just watched was us bringing it into conservation because without actually having their professional word on how to maintain it, how to keep it, we um, really can't move forward with our analyses. What we're going to do as conservators is uh, do what we can to make the body more um, available for research. Especially with archaeological skeletal material, we follow a, a real philosophy of minimum intervention. We're not going to do anything more than we ha absolutely have to to make them stable and available for study. And that's when we form basically kind of a scientific team. And what we, you know, attempted to do with these teams and again, you know, being part of the University of Pennsylvania and it being our mission, you know, in education, what we'll try to do is incorporate as many students as we can into that process. And, um, yes, we can look at it. Yes, we can say these things we've talked about. It's age of death. We've talked about the age in which you lived. Okay. We've talked about the sex of the skeleton, various structures associated with pathology and disease. Now how can we contextualize that in the best possible way? And that's the science of skeletal studies and archaeology.